could have just lost my husband and called it a day. But for some reason, that's not how it happened. Kevin, I have a brain tumor, but um, I found out afterward that he was, you know, exposed to toxic chemicals when he was in Iraq. He had headaches for about a year, and they started within six to eight months after he, re he returned from Iraq. They got so severe, we took him to the emergency room, and uh, he was severely dehydrated from vomiting, and that's when the emergency room physician um, started asking Kevin questions about um, this possibly being an infection caused by something he was exposed to when he was in Iraq. That's exactly when Kevin started really opening up about the burn pit and the smoke and um, all of the different materials that were thrown into these burn pits and burned and how they walked through the smoke every single day. He died literally five days later. There are benefits out there for those who have died a service-connected death. This death was somehow service-connected due to those burn pits. A friend of mine said, do you understand how Facebook works? Do you know that you could have a website for all of these burn pit victims to come together and talk? Almost 1,600 people that have joined the page and we are chatting with each other. I remember when the first person came on and they were talking about the skin lesions that they had and the gentleman that lost his voice box and the wife who's caring for their husband because the respiratory problems are so bad that they have to be on an oxygen tank. If I can help people not go through what I did to receive benefits, oh, it'd be, you know, so worth it. Something just keeps pulling me to keep doing it and pulling me to keep doing it. You know, and it's almost a way for me to keep posting about him because, you know, he was a wonderful husband, father, nurse. Kevin would want me to be talking about it. Absolutely.